Hey guys, what's going on? It is Rick and I'm here with an unboxing slash review video of something that was sent to me by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment that releases this upcoming Tuesday. So today, the day I'm recording is the 26th of June. This releases June 29th. Probably will drop this video um, in the next day or two. So this coming Tuesday, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory comes out on 4K. As you can see there, I think it is the 50th anniversary of this film. So actually kind of a cool fun fact. It's actually almost 50 years to the day. This was getting released June 29th, uh, 2021. The original movie came out in theaters June 30th, 20, uh, 1971. So almost 50 years is exactly. It's being re released to 4K. <clears throat> so we actually watched this last night. The 4K transfer on it looks beautiful. Um, I really like the way this looks. It seems to me more and more that when they remaster an old film, it seems to almost look better. I don't know if it's more noticeable compared to like a newer movie, but this looks absolutely beautiful on 4K. Uh, you guys can see it has this hologram slip and then the standard artwork there. And then as for uh, the insides, we have some kind of like survey thing here on the back of the digital uh, copy and then the discs the blu-ray has candy on it and the 4k has Willy Wonka's hat some purple discs so yeah the movie looks great um, they did a beautiful job transferring this uh, I know there are some bonus features on the blu-ray uh, the only thing that's on the 4K bonus feature-wise is a, an audio commentary with the kids from the movie. Uh, the Blu-ray's bonus features are the same as the previous release. So there's a documentary called Pure Imagination, which I believe is in standard definition. It's like a half an hour. Then there's some sing-alongs, uh, the trailer, and then a featurette to the movie. So, um, yes, this movie just looks absolutely fantastic. Um movie really holds up in my opinion. I was reading a little about Willy Wonka last night. Uh, apparently this was kind of a flop in the box office. It cost $3 million to make. It only made $4 million in theaters. Um, so it didn't do very well in 1971 when it was released, but it kind of had this cult status once it hit home video and TV. They were showing it on Thanksgiving for a couple years in a row. But yeah, the 4K just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, like I said, this will be available in stores anywhere you go, um, June 29th. So I highly recommend it. Like I said, the transfer looks great. I'll be getting rid of my Blu-ray and I'm glad to add this to the collection. I know Best Buy is also going to be carrying a steelbook of this, if I'm not mistaken, which is also available on the 29th of June at Best Buy. And um yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. If you've seen it, it's a classic family film. If you haven't seen it, why not? Uh, Gene Wilder was absolutely... Man, my camera is like crooked. Gene Wilder, absolutely perfect cast of Willy Wonka, in my opinion. All the kids were cast pretty well as well. Um, Grandpa Joe is a real crummy person, but that's a whole nother rant. <clears throat> Maybe in my um, weekly reviews, when I get to this, the end of June, we'll talk about why I think Grandpa Joe is a rotten person. But if you watch the movie with a practical thinking mind nowadays, uh, yeah, Grandpa Joe is really not a good guy. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about how beautiful the 4K is and how thankful I am to Warner Brothers Home Entertainment for sending this over for me to check out... Um, to talk about for you guys so thank you to warner brothers home entertainment uh be sure to grab yourselves a copy this tuesday and that's it guys so thank you for watching as always um links down below to all the usual stuff in the description box we're going to keep this one nice and tight uh just really wanted to get out there like i said watched it last night and it's definitely one i recommend you picking up if you only had it on dvd definitely worth a 4k upgrade if you have it on Blu-ray, in my opinion, it's worth a 4K upgrade as well. So thank you guys as always. Until next time, who's down to movie?